guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I wanted to introduce you guys to the 2017 Clean and Declutter Challenge that I am hosting over on my blog. Now I've got it set up to go through email, so if you're interested in joining us, you need to follow the link down in the description box below and um, sign up to receive the emails. Um, we will also be running a private Facebook group where we can encourage each other and um, just encourage each other in getting all of our projects done. Um, I'm going to show you guys what is included in the first email. Everyone who signs up will get my decluttering kit for free and it looks like this. This is the cover page and you will get... Um, I have some large signs, so you will need, I'm, I don't uh, recommend that you go out and buy like cardboard boxes, but if you have some cardboard boxes lying around that are left over from Christmas, you can definitely use those in your decluttering projects. Um, if you don't have those, just use trash bags. That's what I've used before and they work just fine. But we've got little signs so you can label your different cardboard boxes, the one that you're going to use for trash when you're working on a decluttering project. I've got a recycling um, sign here. I've got a maybe, which hopefully you're not filling the maybe up with too much. Uh, I've got a donate pile, and I've got a keep pile. So um, each week you will get a new email with uh, the different challenges that you are going to be completing over the course of seven days. Um, the first challenge is going to focus solely on the kitchen, usually that because that is going to take quite a while to go through. Um, some of the later weeks, we will be tackling more than one area of the home. The decluttering kit also includes a declutter it projects page with uh, four different areas. This will not necessarily be used during the challenge, but if you have a specific project that you want to um, declutter such as craft supplies or for me it might be homeschool supplies or homeschool curriculum. Um, this is where you will plan that project out. The declutter checklist is actually going to be used during the challenge and I have it divided into different areas of the home with um, all the different areas that I am planning to declutter. Um, and there is space for you to write in if you have other areas that are not included on here that you want to declutter. So we've got the kitchen that we're going to be working on in week one. Week two, we're going to tackle our entryway, our dining room, as well as the hall bathroom or the guest bathroom in your home. Week three is devoted to two squares, but uh, we've got the living room or the family room as well as kids' bedrooms. Usually, the reason I did that is because usually it doesn't take as long to declutter declutter the living room and it takes several days to go through kids bedrooms depending on how many kids that you have and then we have the last week we're going to be tackling the master bedroom and bathroom and then if you want to continue this challenge once we are finished um, there's space to plan out some other rooms like if you have an office or if you want to do your laundry room or your garage or whatever um, finally, I just I made some labels that are colorful and they coordinate with the, the decluttering kit. So you can print these off and you can laminate them or use some contact paper and use those to um, you know, label your bins or your baskets or whatever if you want to. And that's everything that's included in the decluttering, pit, decluttering kit. So we're really excited. We've already got several people signed up to participate in this challenge with us. If you want to participate, I definitely encourage you to go over and sign up. The first email will go out on January 1st, and then the challenge will actually begin on Monday, January 2nd. You can also find me on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below for that. We're going to be using the hashtag clean and declutter um, to share our different decluttering projects. So yeah, Something else I forgot to mention, we're not only decluttering, I'm going to be teaching teaching you guys how to establish different routines, housekeeping routines that will help keep your home maintained and decluttered. Um, you can see in my background, I got some things I need to declutter back there. 
<laughs> but we are going to work on establishing those routines, a morning routine, an evening routine, and some other routines that you will find out if you sign up. So I hope to uh, see you in the challenge, and we'll talk to you later.